What's up, guys? Power Bang here. Uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit today, um, a little bit of a rant, but at the same time, it's a question I get asked all the time uh, by potential recruits, by people that you know subscribe to the channel, send me messages, etc. Um, you know, even friendly clans that you know I kind of help mentor. Uh, I get asked all the time about um, the difference between you know three star strategies and two star strategies, and you know, most often I hear it from recruits that are sick of uh, being in clans where two stars is celebrated and two stars, you know, people say, uh, good job, you know, uh, you know, way to go after a two star raid. Um, whereas, you know, in the more hardcore clans or the, you know, more serious war clans, um, a two star is, is not a, a good job. It's kind of a um, a nice try. It's more, it's it's not a success because somebody's gonna have to go back um, and clean that base up. So, if you want to make the transition to a serious war clan, um, now this is information for you guys um, that are members of other clans, not mine, to take this you know information back to your clan, bring people to the channel, uh, you know, make them watch the how-to videos, make them watch the uh, the one two three opener video. Uh, you know how to lure and kill the clan castle properly. Um, you know base defense, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but it, it's really just a shift in mentality. Do you guys want to be a two-star, you know, clan, or do you want to be a three-star clan? And we have, you know, made the decision here uh, in our clan to, you know, we're going to shoot for three stars. And what that means is we're going to get out of the the same old habits of building an army, and you know queuing up you know the same troops like a go wipe for example go wipe is a very popular army that a lot of um, clans build and it's a very very reliable way to get two stars on a base um, pekkas are extremely strong they're able to drill into the core especially if you know how to funnel well um, if you don't know how to funnel well check out the funneling video that i've got on the channel um, but those pekkas can get to the core take out the town hall and then the remainder of your wizards and uh, heroes can help uh you know, take out some extra trash buildings for 50%. Very easy way to get two stars. However, uh, using a go wipe attack is a very, very unreliable way to get three stars. The attack peters out towards the uh, back half of the raid there. A lot of, uh, you know, mid to higher level, you know, 60, 80% two stars, you're going to see with go wipe. So if you guys are, you know, in a clan that is using go wipe extensively and everybody just builds a, a go wipe army you know they've got their you know 18 wizards and three pekkas and their heroes ready to roll and you know 10 wall breakers and uh you know a, a heal and maybe a couple rages and a, a you know lightning or a jump um that's not the way to go about being a serious war clan uh individuals clashers in a serious clan that you know expects to be successful during war they're going uh during scout uh, prep day excuse me they're going to scout all of the bases they're going to check out each and every one look at uh you know how they might be weak um you know what potential army compositions they're um at a uh, very vulnerable to there's certain things that each base uh has to have done to them before you can really continue on a raid. Check out the one two three opener video for information on that. Every single raid starts the same way. Lure the clan castle. Take out the queen. Look for any you know traps that you can trip, or uh, bombs that you can trip if you're going to use hogs or air defenses. You can take out if you're using air defenses. Every single uh, raid is going to start out the same way. There are very few exceptions to that, but for the most part, when you're making that transition, go through this you know very simple procedure. Lure the clan castle, kill the queen, trip any bombs that you're able to, or take out an air defense, then start the bulk of your raid. That is how you're going to be successful and start making those transitions um, from two-star raids to three-star raids. Another very key component uh, when you're making this transition is to stop with the you know pre-built armies and start customizing armies for the base that you're attacking. Um, so many people get on, you know, back in the old days uh, when I was running a clan that had not yet transitioned to this... Uh, three-star strategy and they would build up an army right they'd have a go wipe and they'd have their four pekkas and you know 15 wizards or whatever and they'd say all right here's my army what do you want me to hit and it's like no 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 no. that's not that's not what you're doing here you need to 
figure out what you're going to hit first. You know, find a base that that's laid out, you know, well uh, for your strengths. Like if you're a good hog attacker, you're going to look for bases that have, you know, a single giant bomb potential only throughout the base. You don't want a lot of open two by four spaces where they could be hiding a double giant bomber you know two by four spaces deep within the the core of the base or the middle you know middle rings of the base that aren't easy to trip in advance um you're gonna you know aim more towards the bases that have uh you know only single potentials for for giant bombs and focus on those um you're also going to look at bases that, you know, maybe the queen is a little bit exposed. She's in the outer ring of the base, or you can get her to jump outside a wall where you don't have to spend a spell uh, to access her location. And since you know that you have to take out the queen as a part of your raid um, in order to be successful and get that three stars, that's something that you're definitely going to want to look for on scout day. So these are the types of things that you have to have in mind. And then once you've finally determined what base it is that you, you, know, you think you want to hit, you know, look at all the potential trap locations, uh, where, you know, the CC is placed and where you're going to have to lure from any potential um, pitfalls from, you know, like Tesla locations, etc. Look at all these things as you're scouting and then only then determine what troops you're going to bring. Now, in your troop composition for your army in three star uh, army strategies, um, you're almost always going to have a form of high damage dealing, high defense, uh, or high hit point troops. And what that means is you're going to have hogs or balloons in pretty much every raid in some capacity. Very, very rarely are you going to have um, an army composition that does not have one of those things. So that means that, uh, you know, if you're bringing balloons, for example, there's a lot of different... Uh, strategies that have balloons of some sort you know there's the hollow wee wee strategies where you lead in with a bunch of balloons and trim out uh potential double giant bomb locations you trim the buildings around those so that the hogs don't have to path there and then you also get what you can around the base in areas that are not you know covered by air defenses um balloons are also used with the lava loonian strategies any uh lava hounds that are sent in with balloons behind them um, you can also use them in spots to, to trade for uh, unprotected defense buildings. If you see, you know, an archer tower with no air defense coverage on it and you can drop one balloon and get that trade, do it every time. These are the c considerations that you have to start making if you're going to make this transition uh, from a two-star uh, player to a three-star player. Now, the first uh, thing that has to happen is you have to determine, you know, with yourself or with your clan is... Is this what we want to be? Is this what I want to be as a Clash player? Do we want to, you know, go for three stars? Do we want to determine that uh, a two-star raid is a failure? Now, that's not for everybody. I'll, I'll admit that up front. You know, a lot of people are happy with the two stars that they get, and they're willing to live with that. But me personally, and for our clan, we're not, and we're we're looking to a, basically achieve a higher standard of excellence, and three stars is the is the bar. So. First, make the decision, is that what you want? If it is, uh, then commit to it. You know, you're going to have to practice some new strategies that you're probably not used to uh, working on. Lava Hounds and Lava Lunian, people on YouTube make that look incredibly stupid easy. Um, it is not. It's a very technical attack, has a lot of nuances. Um, you know, it, it is doable, and, it, and you can make it look very easy once you're good at it. But I promise you that you're going to fail at it, and you're going to fail quite a few times before it finally clicks. Once it does click, though, oh, man, you're going to be in great shape. I mean, uh, bases are going to start looking really easy to you. You're going to know what to look for, how to deploy your troops, et cetera, et cetera. The same thing goes with hogs. A lot of people, after the update, um, the big update recently, uh, where they kind of buffed the giant bombs to do more damage to hogs, a lot of people dropped them like they were hot at that point. Like, sorry, you know, hogs are no longer viable. Well, that's just not true. Um, I hope you guys have noticed from watching our videos that uh, a good percentage of our guys use hogs to completely wreck bases. I mean, you're seeing Town Hall 10s destroyed by, by hog riders. You're seeing uh, Town Hall 9s destroyed by hog riders with, with people. Out, they're not even losing any hogs. So, I mean, hogs are definitely viable. And rather than, you know, default to the go wipe, you know, go wipe is king and, uh, you know, use that on a base that's obviously vulnerable to hogs. That's just the wrong decision. Um, so, you know, it comes down to properly scouting bases, figuring out what the base is vulnerable to and, uh, you know, bringing the proper proper army composition to take out that base. So 
figure out, guys, if this is uh, the way that you want to play, if you want to be a serious clash or if you want to really develop your skills, uh, be willing to try new things um, and be willing to fail. And most importantly, when you do fail, don't take criticism personally. Um, be willing to go back right after your raid, watch your attack, whether it's, an, uh, whether it's a success or failure, and look for every single thing that went wrong. You need to you know, break down all the different portions of your raid, figure out what went wrong and how you could have corrected it, and then basically bring what you learned, bring that knowledge with you forward to your next raid. So on your next attempts, uh, you know, those things don't happen again. And with enough repetition and enough practice, you finally start to become you know, the player that you want to be, and pretty soon you're the player that other players look up to. So um, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Um, hopefully this has helped you kind of think about, you know, the mindset that it takes. Don't get discouraged when things don't go your way when trying something new. Believe me, uh, I failed so many, so many times on new strategies. Um, and it's frustrating and you see other people do things that, you know, maybe you want to do or that look easy. It's not, it, it takes practice and polishing. And, uh, you know, if you put in the work, uh, the results are going to be there for you. Uh, so remember that, um, Put in the time. Don't get frustrated. Practice, 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 and uh, set the bar high. Go for the three stars. Bring the three-star armies. Customize that thing to the base, and make sure that you're going through the, the proper steps. Um, make sure that you're doing you know the basics, the fundamentals of the game, which are funneling, which are the you know the one, two, three opener, getting the the clan castle lured, killing that clan castle properly and efficiently. Um, and then, you know, tripping, tripping bombs, taking out defenses, etc., that are going to be crucial to advancing your raid to that three-star destination that you're trying to get to. Um, so thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Power Bang. I'm going to sign out till next time. Catch you later.